Okay, so in this video, we'll be going over uh, more specifics about binary search. Uh, if you haven't already, I recommend you watch the previous video because, um, yeah, we go over the general idea of binary search. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. So we have this idea of we're, we're basically taking uh, the midpoint of a certain range, and then we're basically splitting it up into like there's a, a search range small into smaller and smaller parts so how do we do this let's say we have let's say we have um the indices zero through ten which means 11 elements and so we want to find the midpoint so how do we find the midpoint uh zero plus ten right? Uh, it's 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we'll go here. So what we did was 0 plus 10 over 2. That gave us 5. So this is our midpoint. Then we check if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to the target variable. And if it is, um, let's say if it's greater than, then we know it can't be here. So we can just effectively eliminate this and search this area. And likewise, if it's smaller than the very uh, element at index five, then we can cross this stuff out and just look here. So let's think about what we just did here. Firstly, we took zero plus 10. And so that's basically the left index plus the right index and divided by two. So Right now, since it's like the first iteration, it's really easy to visualize. Um, it's obviously just going to be 10 over 2. But let's say um, the target variable or the target um, value is greater than 5, or sorry, the value at index 5, then we're going to have our left point here because we can ignore all this. And we're just going to look this way. So then how do we find our midpoint? Well, it's not as clear, but we're just going to do the same exact thing where we take the left point plus the right point and over 2. So 5 plus 10 over 2. So we get 7. And so this is basically our new midpoint. And we're just going to repeat that. And so also, um, we have to make sure what we do when... Um, it's greater than or less than. So in this case, we said it was greater than 5. Then we set whatever, I guess, the left range, uh, leftmost index to 5. So we're basically setting the leftmost, the left index to mid, the midpoint. And if um, the right, sorry, um, if the integer is smaller than the value at the midpoint, then we set the right to the uh, midpoint. Um, yeah, so we're just going to keep doing this. So how do we know when we're done? Well, we know we're done when we're left with just, I guess, like let's say we go here and we're looking for 8, then our midpoint is here, then our midpoint is here and then like we're just going to keep doing the same process we did until we get to a point where left and right are basically right next to each other and that means we've narrowed down our range to just a single value and that's when we know we're done when we're done so when left is equal to right or i can say that when not left is less than right, because we don't know if it's going to be greater than or equal to. And so if this is the case, then we know that the current index, or I guess we can just choose the leftmost index, because there's no gap. That's going to be our answer. And so yeah, that's basically the implementation for binary search. Um, and I'll just write it out really quick. So I guess I already have it written here. Um, yeah, so take the midpoint by taking half of the left and right, or in other words, taking the average 
check if the target is greater than or equal to or less than the midpoint, then you keep repeating. Repeat until left, not left, or we can say repeat while left is less than left. And yeah, so that's basically the idea of binary search. In the next video, I'll go over the um, implementation to it. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching.